All right, what's up guys? I want to talk about how you can use low time frames to limit your risk by so much. Like it's unbelievable how amazing trading on a low time frame, but then also using a higher time frame to help frame the trade so you get that big reward, but then you're going to use a low time frame to get that really really small risk. So if we look at this trade here, you can see here that I entered right here. I'm going to drop down right here. And then I put my stop like just right below it. So it popped up. I went ahead and entered. I put my stop right below there. Knowing that if it goes below there, I will take a one point, one and a half point stop on five contracts. So each contract, a point is worth twenty dollars we go 1.5 times five so I was willing to take a hundred and fifty dollar stop out with five contracts staying within a proper risk management way of trading five contracts because most people would say you should be trading a micros account with a 50k account man maybe you're trading on a 10 minute chart yeah because then you're gonna have to risk you know, way above somewhere or way below to enter. But if you drop down um, into the 30 second chart, I'm gonna show you guys an example or two here. I'll enter a trade live here in a second, but I'm gonna break down one of the most important parts of this. So the key to doing this is number one, always wait for reaction. Price should come down. You should see it move up and then enter so that way you have your your risk is defined if you don't do it this way if i was to set a limit order here i don't know where to put my stop i'd have to put my stop down here maybe i don't know but if you wait for it to like show itself and then you can get a really low risk high reward entry i'm gonna go ahead and exit this and then we'll do a re-entry in a second okay so i exited that trade now i'm gonna enter another trade here showing you how to do it in a live market environment this is not replay this is a live market okay so there it is boom now i'm gonna go ahead and enter all right now i'm long five contracts and we know where i should be putting my stop i should be put my stop below here right because if my entry is there my stop should go there if it goes below there i'm wrong my thesis was not correct. Okay. Adjust that. So how many points am I risking? 80. I'm risking three points. Boom. There it is, right? Beautiful, right? So five contracts. At three points, this one might be a little bit over my risk tolerance, but it's it's pretty close, right? Usually I want to be risking about $250. All right, so I just want to show you guys that it is possible to trade multiple contracts if you're framing the trade correctly. Now, I have an upside target that is quite a ways away. It's going to be right there. So my R&R &R on this trade is going to be mind-blowing. Like something that most traders can't um, consistently get because they're risking so much. Their risk is so high. So it's a 15R trade. But it's really not that that many points, is it? It's uh, 17 points, which that's not super hard to get with NASDAQ. And then I also scale out. Once it like pops back up here, I'll go ahead and scale out half of it. And then... By doing that, I am eliminating my risk totally together. So just a quick video for you guys, a different way of doing things. Um, please like this video, and I will see you guys in the charts.